was a, a good tree that it, it provided a lot of trees, uh, fruits, the birds, and even the monkeys feed those fruits. And the other trees, uh, like uh, Motocabas, Modo, they have a big one around uh, 11 or uh, around 11 people with the whole of their hearts is when they around that uh, big tree within here. So that is a uh, maybe. What a fascinating story of the Mount Elgon National Park. And we've never believed, imagined that will end up in such a wonderful place. And I hope it's just the beginning. At the gate, the first gate of the National Park, I, I think we're going to have a views of birds. If you are a bird enthusiast, tomorrow morning we're going to have a wonderful scenery of the birds, animals, and variety of species. Love to call it today. Tomorrow, I am very optimistic. We're going to have a fishing day with a lot of species. It's just a remarkable story in a broad story of Mount Elgon National Park with from Mr. Who? William. William. Really, it was a remarkable oh, fascinating a tour, guide. A tour, tour guide. Even uh, hopefully, tomorrow, we're going we're gonna to be with him to explain for us in detail about the magic and the story of the bush. We love bush travel and such place we've never imagined that today will end up to reach such a wonderful place, Mount Elgon, because we did a trip Karamoja across the part of Africa, Karamoja road trip, which Mount Elgon was in our exit point. If you can still remember that, look at the picture. Correct. That Yesterday we slept at Kaptorwa, Mount Elgon, Elgon, which is eastern side of Uganda. And now we are on the western side of Kenya, which is the eastern part of Congo. Uh, of, of, of Uganda. I hope tomorrow morning we're gonna have a wonderful and for now we are heading to search for a beautiful camping spot and to set up our tent and then take it easy, relax and chill out. And tomorrow morning we're gonna have another little bit of exploration in the National Park. Stick with us. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> nice day. My name is Noor Ismail Nozol, diesel engineer, filmmaker, storyteller. Join me as I share my passion for building trucks and traveling to the remotest part of northeastern Kenya. and remember to hit that notification bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos. Yesterday we slept at Kaptorwa. That was our third last camp before we accomplish our trip expedition 2020 across the Pearl of Africa. And as you can see rapidly, the weather it keeps changing. Just within a couple of minutes, we have been to have been the cloud has been the place was been a bit clear. But within a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds, you see the, the change now. It's a bit windy. You may think we are around approximately a.m. But it's not the case. When I see, check my watch, it's about 11.30. Around approximately approaching midday. But look at the cloud. There's nothing like rain. It's because we are on top of the mountain. In the beginning of Mount Elgon, next to midday, Elgon, Mount Elgon National Park. On top of the 2,000 meters on top of the sea level top. that's why the kind of atmosphere see cloud fog and mix up thing weather is not stable if you are, i didn't tell you that this is a capture you may think you're in west london or somewhere in europe so that's a, the, the why we are here so capture is bordering 
Kenya is not far from here. Even this atmosphere, the weather is same like the Voi and other part of Kenya. And this is Uganda side, 20 kilometers Kenya side. This is Mount Elgo. What else I forgot to share with you people? I'm here. This is where we're on top of the Mount Elgo. And now we're here on the western side of Kenya side. That one was in southeastern side of Uganda side. And here we are, full view of Mount Elgo. Towns that this had to be just. I think it's other construction. Yeah, maybe construction. It's promising. Beautiful one. Beautiful. Because I've already seen first, first they impression. Wide in the road. Yeah, first impression about the uh, architecture. It was fantastic. Yeah. Hopefully, next time we'll be here. I can't tell you which year again. Eh? You can only verify. One day, one time. So far, so good. We have reached uh, Kitali. First impression. It's quite bigger. It's not long, but it's, uh, it's a commercial hub. Commercial hub. Most of the uh, export mails. Yeah. Most of the people from Kapchorwa, who is for that town, outside of the top of the mountain. I'm going to get there for you here. It's just a town of Picho. Is that okay? Yeah, the Indian artists. From this area. Yeah, this is the same. So far, it looks great. The infrastructure is on the way. As we go and go deep inside, in and out, or in and out, Bustling um, city. Yeah, and um, uh, about forty percent of uh, people from Kaptura, yep. from the Ugandan side, they are commercial. Commercial from here, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. they find goods a little bit cheaper Business here. Hub, yeah. yeah. Sure. As you can see, how busy you can see how busy people are preparing for their new their big days. I have a friend called as as in the house. I think he was born here. Was he born or baptized? Oh no, he's uh, and Were you he born here or baptized here? It's, a, it's in the house. Grand, 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 well, grand. Yeah. Neither of the two. Grand one here. What did he just say? Neither of the two. The that neither mean, of that, the two. That means you are become a big liar. I was born in. You have the label. Uganda. Uh, I studied here in primary. That is in Bungoma, not in Kitale. Not in Kitale. In Kitale, I came once some two years ago. The town was still young, baby. but now it has grown out of here. And, uh, and quality. <laughs> well, it's uh, really extending this town. Um, infrastructure. It's going to be built just a little bit. Next time, what do you think if we step in here? We compare. Yeah. It's a very big town. And, uh, With a little lot of expectation. And uh, just to let you know that uh, after camping here tonight, tomorrow we'll be heading up to this town, moving further north, that is uh, Camp Tenguria. And then from Tenguria we'll be heading to Lord. The rest you will be notified. Soon Remember our YouTube channel? Please step in. Subscribe, share, comment, and then over and trip. This is a Mainland, the of the rough road, the desert, and then the the Swahili, we are in Kitali. Shari, 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 Shari,
mvugu wajomba washasha wajomba kitale wanadhani kuna dharura lakini hatuna dharura hii ni sauti sauti ya simba tu wanasikia ni hali ya utati lakini sio utati kama kawaida hiyo ni sauti ya mzee simba unajua njogoo kiwa hata kokorio kwa kio ndani ya mji lazima kokorioke lazima asikitike asiki, asiki, asiki sijui hiyo barabara litatupeleka mpaka wapi ya tuna habari lakini nadhani inakuwa inatupeleka mji ambaye haipendezi hapo unaita hapa ni kuna mali unaita Kitale National Polytechnic yani utalamu wa kisayansi wa mkono unatafsiri mwenyewe alright here we are this is Mount Elgon National Park. This is <laughs> Uganda side. This is where you're gonna be. We're gonna have our campsite tonight. And this is among the famous Mount Elgon. They have among the big five, they have three: elephant, buffalo, and leopard. Only two are lacking, are missing, which is a rhino and lion. And here we are with the Mr. William. William. We will introduce, tell us a little bit about the Mount Elgon National Park, which is going to be our campsite tonight from Kitale to Mount Elgon National Park. As you know, Ovalanda, we are looking for the magic places and having the view of magic species. And here we are, tell us about the history and uh, to according to the history, because we learn the history of the place before we rest. Mount Elgon was gazetted as national park in the Kenya side. It was 1967. 1968. 68. And I think uh, the number of species, you said the big five, uh, we have uh, three, three big five. What about other species? Uh, other species that we have here, we have uh, the water, water buck, we have uh, wadok. Wadok, yes. Uh, we have a uh, wild bushy beak. Okay. We have the bushback. Bushback. We have a red tiger. Yeah. In terms uh, of size. Okay. In terms of size, uh, national park of Kenya is 169 square kilometers. 169, 169 kilometers. Square meters. Square meters. In total. total. Quite enormous. Yes. And then, as we have said, Kenya side was considered in 1968. Eight. Well, Uganda was just recently 1992. Recent, yeah. Uh, Look at the Uganda side, it's where we reached to as a Karamoja road trip. Look at it. But look at the cloud. There's nothing like rain. It's because we are on top of the mountain. In the beginning of Mount Elgon. Next to me, the Elgon, Mount Elgon National Park. On top of the 2,000 meters on top of the sea level. That's why the kind of atmosphere, see cloud, fog and mix up things. Weather is not stable. Well, that is Uganda side. If you now cross, the, cross that mountain, and here we are on Kenyan side, and here we are, this is Mount Elgon National Park. You maintain the same name, isn't it? Yes, we share the name Mount Elgon. Mount Elgon. Yeah, we share. Fantastic. So we have uh, what type of the activity we have okay. in here? <coughs> uh, Mount Elgon is a first of all is a volcanic mountain. Volcanic mountain. Uh, as a result of a volcanic mountain, certain a number of features. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the hot spring. Mm -hmm. From here. The hot spring is about 42 kilometers. 42 kilometers. kilometers. Yes. So hot you spring. drive for one and a half hours, and then you walk for another 10 good kilometers. You get to the hot spring. Hot that spring. is the border of Kenya and Uganda. Right. And then we have also the summit. Uh, the highest summit it is in Uganda side. That is Wagagai. Elevation of 4,321. Kenya side, we have our quite top of peak. Uh, elevation of 4,222. Ata Peak is also a low Elgon Tan, that is in Bungama County, 4,301. Uh, other result of uh, volcanic eruption is uh, caves. Uh, we have Kitum Caves, uh, which is famous because of the animals that normally go in, especially the elephant, normally go in uh, to lick that salt, thorax rocks. Uh, and most of the animals that normally get there are uh, elephants. We have, we have a water bag and the animals because of that 
salt because they say that most of basic vegetation of more daily gold uh, does not have sodium. That's why they go and take that salt at least to have that mineral in their bodies or to supplement. And then we have also the cliffs, like the one you are seeing on the other side. Uh, these are part of the hiking. And then uh, we have the landscape. Also a style of volcanic eruption. And then uh, we have also the ecosystem of Mount Yellowstone is divided into three zones. Uh, we have the National Park, we have the Game Reserve, and the Kenya Forest Service. Under the National Park, there's so human activities, purely for wild animals and those protected species. Game Reserve is where, whereby the artist people known as Oki or the Robo, they keep domestic animals. Are those tribe? Okiek or Ndorobo. Orobo. Yes. They keep, if you go to an elevation of 3,000. They're living on top of the mountain. On the, on the mountain. So they keep these domestic animals. And then Kenya Forest Service, whereby the government uh, allow the community to plan, uh, allow the community to plan certain types of crops. And then the government plan exotic trees. These exotic trees are like uh, pine, eucalyptus. And so, I mean, I got so under a national park uh, we have different types of vegetation uh, we have uh, different types of vegetation we have a uh, rainforest from rainforest uh, we move to bamboo so for the division of 2700 2400 to the division 2700 is covered by the bamboo which is a uh, massive of big bodo then from there you move to alpine from Alpine, we move to Moorland towards the rocky part of the mountain. Another thing is that uh, Mount Hilgon being uh, one of the among the water towers that we have here in Kenya. We have uh, Kenya, we have uh, Mount Kenya, Abadea, and the Mau. But here in the Transoya, in the county of Transoya, we have two uh, water towers that is Jeragan Hills and the Mount Hilgon. You will see that the first river from border, that is Swam River goes to Takwell to generate hydroelectric power and then extend to a dry lake that is left to Kana. Then the rest of the rivers uh, join Zoya and then get to the Victoria. Goes up to the mount to uh, Lake Turkana? Yes, the first river, Swam River. And then uh Option, you go, even really in Egypt, you can see that they feel direct or indirect the because of the source of our or sources of river okay. of this mountain. Okay, inside of uh, maybe birds, we have uh, 240 species of birds variety that are found within uh, Mount Elwon. And then uh, types of uh, trees that we have here, species, we have uh, one of the endangered species that is a uh, elicotic, good for timber. And then we have a uh, cedar that was good for construction. Other trees like this on of Kana or uh, we call it uh, Europea. Those are good for poles and even carving. And then we have uh, a Kepeka Kepensis or we call it Bununga in Kiswahili. Uh, those are a good tree that will provide a lot of trees, uh, fruits to birds and even the monkeys feed on those fruits. And the other trees are like uh, Botacabas, Bodo. We have a big one around 11 or uh, around 11 people when they hold their hands is when they can surround that uh, big tree within here. So that is a maybe. What a fascinating story of the Mount Elgon National Park. And we've never believed, imagined that will end up in such a wonderful place. And I hope it's just the beginning. At the gate, interest gate of the National Park, I, I think we're going to have a views of birds if you are bird enthusiast tomorrow morning we're gonna to have a wonderful scenery of the birds animals and variety of species love to call it today tomorrow i am very optimistic we're gonna have a fishing day with a lot of species it's just a remarkable story in a broad story of mount elgon national park with from Mr. Who? William. William. Really, it was remarkable oh, fascinating. A tour guide. To a tour guide. Yes. Even uh, hopefully tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna be with him to explain for us in detail about the magic and the story of the bush 
We love bush travel and such place we've never imagined that today will end up to reach such a wonderful place, Mount Elgon, because we did a trip Karamoja across the part of Africa, Karamoja road trip, which Mount Elgon was on our exit point. If you can still remember that, look at the picture. Right, Yesterday we slept western at side Kachorwa. of Mount Elgon, Elgon, which is eastern side of Uganda, and now we are on the western side of Kenya, which is the uh, eastern part of Congo, uh, of, of of Uganda. I hope tomorrow morning we're gonna have a wonderful. And for now, we are heading to search for a beautiful camping spot and to set up our tent and then take it easy, relax and chill out. And tomorrow morning, we're going to have another little bit of exploration in the National Park. Stick with us. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos.